What's going on guys? Welcome back. I'm still in the X5 and the reason for that is while I was fixing the uh, steering wheel issue, if you haven't checked that video, go ahead and do so. I started thinking to myself, is there a better way to utilize this um, center console storage um, area? What I'm actually referring to is when you open your storage compartment here, uh, these cars came with these the phone charger cradle things mounted here which takes quite a bit of room for uh from your storage and um as technology move evolves and moves on there's um uh, actually not many phones could actually actually utilize this for example i have a iphone 13 and I don't think this will even work with iPhone because there's things like wireless uh, charging um, stations uh, which you could utilize. For example, I have this one here which I have been running for about two and a half years now and this thing is phenomenal. Because all you do is place your phone right here and it's already charging. And it's just, actually see, you could see it on my um, on my apple carplay it indicates the status right away so this is a great uh, charger and it's actually pretty fast it has a high wattage output so it charges the phone in uh in i would say half the time a uh, regular home uh, chargers uh charge and if anybody's interested this is the company name sick hill if i'm pronouncing that correctly uh, so i'm using this for my charging so therefore this thing is just a dead log to me, which I mean, takes up a lot of space. And what I did uh, research a little bit, uh, there's actually a uh, plate or blank plate that you could buy for this and replace this. And actually I have it right here and it's not that expensive. This is the plate. This is the part number for this part. It's actually a BMW part and it's, um, it's direct, direct fit uh, for this car, so this is not some up aftermarket stuff. And it's only about $25, uh, depend depending where you get it. What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna try to demonstrate how to remove this and install this plate, which I don't think should be very hard. Uh, from my research, you will need a uh, ratchet with a T25 and uh, some pry, tool, pry tools if so. So first, you need to take this uh, rubber trim right here from the, the bottom and that will expose you with the bottom two screws and then also there's a screw right here which we will have to remove. So let me do that real quick. There we have the screws removed and now what we need to do is pry this little vent thing that hides uh, the fan from, uh, from this area here so we could access the fan and you'll see why in a few moments. It just pops right up and we have the fan exposed put that to the side because that will not be needed anymore now the fan is held with these like uh, rubber grommets if i may use that term for to describe these you could just peel them to the side and try to take the fan out help yourself with the pride tool and the uh, reason you need to remove this fan is because there's a fourth screw right here which take your ratchet and you can take that out as well so now we could actually move this thing out if i'm not mistaken so let's see And yes, indeed, the whole um, mounting plate has moved uh, away from the face. 
So, you see here, now we have uh, that exposed us with, with the wires that are, um, that we need to disconnect. Let me get some light so you guys could see better. All right, so we got some lights so you can see better. Now you got these two wires here which you need to disconnect and they have these tabs as you could see this like there's a there's a little notch here that you need to press let me see if i could do this while holding the camera and that will disconnect the cable like so so you got one i got one more to go the second one is a little bit different design it has a tab on top you just press here And it should slide out like so. All right, and the last one, this is the easiest one because this is has one of those uh, tabs that you um, move to the side and it dislodges itself like that. And the last one actually is for the actual fan once all of those uh, connectors are disconnected you can just take it out and uh, look how much space already we gained just put these to the side or on slide them under the the bottom here which i don't think shouldn't be a problem zip tie them and uh, as far as the new new plate goes this has just some notches that you just slide in like so from my understanding at least let me verify yes sir that is correct so you slide in those two bottom tabs and this goes in and voila look at that this wow why did i do this earlier this gives you so much more room actually storing stuff you probably don't need but i mean space is always nice so uh that is that let me put the, uh, the tray back in boom and uh, we have extra storage space it was that simple so that is it um hopefully this was helpful if it was give a like consider subscribing and i will see you on the next one one more thing i want to mention about this wireless charging solution i pr mentioned prior in the video is that it's designed very well as you could see it fits the car this space in particular very well it does not look out of place and it uh, the cup the cup holders are still usable has few several um charging options aside from the wireless charging so uh it definitely a well designed piece like i said i had have this about two and a half years now and i hadn't had a single issue with this so it's a very well designed piece if you are considering a wireless charging upgrade for your x5 this is definitely something to consider all right that'll be all Thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon.